Hey everybody, uh, what's up guys? Welcome to the new series. That was uh, Bella, beautiful Bella, the doggy, the, uh, the golden retriever. And uh, today you will be watching Todd and Jodes. I am Todd. She is Jodes. And uh, yeah, we're going to be riding a city park via... Oop, wipeout. Via um, the Wisner Bike Trail, which uh, runs along the beautiful Bayou St. John to our left and uh, Wisner Avenue to the right. Nice little path. Beautiful day outside, as you can see. Um, the path is not too populated today. We'll run into some folks, though. As you'll soon find out. That's the uh, Greek church in the background. There's Jodes turning into a raptor. So, um, so I've been riding the one wheel. By the way, that's what we're on. We're on one wheels. That's what that's what it's called. That's what the product's called. Uh, one wheel. They make them out in California. They're made by a company called Future Motion. You know, whatever. Um, so I have uh, I have three. Currently, I have three. I have two pints and one XR. Pints are the smaller uh, model. They go a little bit slower and about half of the range. Um, so they range at, I think it's six to eight miles per charge. And uh, they top out at 16 miles an hour. Whereas the XR... Jody's riding the pint. Um, I'm riding the XR. The XR, I believe, um, has a range of, and I could be wrong about this, I think it's 16 to 18 miles. So it's basically double. Um, and I think it tops out at like 20, 19 or 20 miles an hour. But <clears throat> as far as the speed goes, people go way faster than, you know, I think those are just recommended top speeds. Um, if you push the parameters of, of the one wheel of the board, it it'll go faster than the uh, you know than the noted uh, top speed. Now at your own risk, of course, because you'll fucking wipe out, gnarl, break yourself. Um, there's something that's uh, uh, that's well known uh, term in the uh, one wheel community it's it's uh well there's a couple of terms there's really a ton of terms but two that i'll go into shortly there's pushback and then uh after pushback there's nosedive and uh nosedive is the most notorious way to wipe out on a one wheel um basically what happens is so the motor is inside the uh, inside the wheel. It's in the hub of the wheel, and it's an elect electric motor. And then they have sensors on the front and the back, and uh, the battery is stored in the back. That's basically the, the uh, anatomy of of the thing, and it's it's got metal rails. It's got a metal frame, basically. It's fucking dope, man. These things are awesome. Um. Anyhow, so yeah, the XR, uh, it's got a longer range, and uh, it's a little bit bigger, not much, a little bit heavier, not much, you know, um, a few differences as far as the, uh, I don't know, as far as like the updated software, the Pine is more, um, it, it's, it's a more recent version, so it's got a few upgrades. Um, anywho... Hope you guys are digging the uh, the New Orleans scenery. You know what I'm saying? This is basically like my stomping grounds. Grew up around here. Um, live around here now. This is the Gentilly area of New Orleans. Chili Gentilly. We love it. We love it. So, uh, so I've been riding for about two years. I love this thing. And I got one for Jodes, you know, just so we could, you know, have like date rides and, you know, share my passion. And hopefully she would uh, fall in love with the, uh, with the experience as well. And, you know, we could share in the passion. Well, 
with that being said, I bought her a one wheel um, a few months ago, uh, and she hasn't really been riding it. But dude, check her out now. She looks like a fucking pro, right? Like this is like only her like second or third like real ride experience. Like she's like messed around in the front yard and stuff like that in the driveway. But no extended rides like this. Like this is a this is like a far ass ride. Like this to to ride this distance as well as she's riding and we're going not too slow. Like we're going at a nice little quip. Um, you know, nine, ten miles an hour. Like uh anyway. Yeah, she's balling, man. She's doing great. Super proud of her. She's still still getting her legs underneath her, but uh you know that's the thing. It's like at first it's a little bit hairy, it's a little tricky. But once you get your legs underneath you and you have you know, you have a little confidence, you get your your stance, your foot placement right, and you you really start to feel the board underneath you and you understand its I guess it's responsiveness and, and it's it's capabilities I suppose it really becomes like this incredible fucking experience that is uh, unlike anything else I've ever done um, I've never I've never uh, I've never been snowboarding but a lot of people say that it it feels like snowboarding but like you know without snow essentially uh, you know, so maybe it is like that. Oh look, I almost fell. We both almost fell. Are we drunk? Who knows? <clears throat> Back on the saddle. Anyway, so we're still on the Wisner path. Like I said, we're headed to City Park. Um, don't really have a plan, just kind of tooling around. She wanted to go for a ride, which I was super excited about, so here we are. And look at her go, man. Um, so like I said, I've been riding a little bit longer than her. I'm, uh, and I have the ridiculous scars to show for it. I'm not, you know, I'm not the greatest rider. I wiped out a bunch, messed my, uh, you know, skin, my knees and my elbows and my hands up pretty good. I, I guess it's just par for the course, right? It's what boys do we scrape ourselves up right yeah but uh I always wear a helmet uh, and let me just tell you ladies and gentlemen if you're gonna partake in this endeavor uh, that we call floating you need a helmet at minimum you need a helmet um, I've bounced my skull off the concrete many times uh, sometimes well, 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 I say my skull area, but luckily uh, my melon had my melon cover on it, right? So I always had my helmet, and I had never... Uh, I don't think I've sustained any brain damage from the falls. Certainly from the, uh, the poor life decisions previous to that. But I think that my one-wheeling experience has not damaged my brain thanks to my helmet. And like I said, I, I used, I've used it three or four times. You know, so get a helmet, please. God, I feel like I'm preaching. I never do that shit. Sorry. Recently started wearing like knee and elbow pads too, so I guess I'm a big poser. Whatever. Man, nice soothing jazz. And still on that Wisner path. Weather's still looking good. Clear skies. Beautiful Bayou St. John. On the right, all the oak trees on the left. To the to the far left, there's a City Park City Park Golf Course. I think it's the North Course. I don't know. It's pretty fancy. I'm not a I'm not a golfer. Neither Jodes or I golf. I've tried it. I went I went once with my buddy. Uh, he had some lessons, so I just kind of tagged along. I didn't really have a good time, and uh, that was a wrap on that, so 
Maybe I'll try it again in the future sometime. I have a feeling I will. It seems like something I'd enjoy. You know, going out, uh, riding a golf cart, drinking some beers, you know, whatever else. Hitting some balls with your buddies. Uh, sounds like a good time to me. So this is a little bit of a, a long video, so, you know, hopefully you're uh, digging the scenery. If you're from New Orleans, hopefully you're uh, soaking in the sights of City Park, right, and its, it's neighboring areas. Uh, if you're not from New Orleans, you know, check it out in all of its splendor. Alright, so look at this dude on his uh, e-skateboard. He's like fucking cruising. Those things are badass. Um, I'd probably kill myself on them. But, I mean, everybody says that about the one wheel. And I guess we're still alive so far, so. I could definitely live under there if I had to. Just saying. What was that? Gremlins. Uh, that's Pan Am Stadium uh, in your background there. Uh, the backdrop they have a lot of it's a I guess like a multi-use type field it's a as far as I know it's a public field a lot of soccer gets played there I feel like I'm not I hope that doesn't offend anybody I love soccer by the way I played all through shit before high school pre-high school like uh, playground soccer and then uh oh look at Joe's and Todd did I just grab her boob um, <clears throat> and throughout high school, so, man, I love soccer. Got nothing bad to say about it. What in the hell am I pointing at? I knew that I talked with my hands, but not until, I don't know, recently, like in the last year or so, since I've been doing more videos, I just did not realize how exclamated I was with my hands like I'm ridiculous it's embarrassing I'm all over the place back on the road see when I first started I was intimidated by this route because I didn't know if I could make it this far I didn't know you know, I didn't I didn't know where the charging ports were. Um, but now, I mean, shit. We can get if Jody can make it all the way from the crib to City Park to the charging ports with more than enough battery left to spare. Um, that's dope, right? Like, so we we make it all the way to the charging spot. Um, as if you stick around, you shall see. It's funny, man. We get to the charging spot, and uh, it's like all kind of kids and families and, you know, just kids running around. Um, the the place where we stopped, it's actually called, like, the Reunion Pavilion or something. Like, you know, supposed to have family, family reunions there or what have you. Um, well, they were having all that, like I said, and it was cool. So we plugged in our chargers, plugged in our one wheels, and then... Uh, there was a stripper pole some some um, young lady was practicing her her uh, her da her livelihood right just practicing her dance moves on the pole and um, so I had a 360 camera so I pulled it out and I got a lot of that well shit so this what you're seeing right now is a 360 camera so if you know anything about a 360 cam you just put it anywhere and it shoots everything so I just put that biatch on the ground and it recorded everything uh her included you know and all the kids and stuff in the background i mean she was pretty good you know i mean i gotta give her credit she um she was fucking working man she was trying hard like you know she you could tell she was new at it um you can tell that she was invested in her future she bought a fucking stripper pole you know like what like a portable one because she just like you know you just kind of like ratcheted it up to two 
you know, a top and a bottom support brace, and boom, you got yourself a, a stripper pole anywhere you go. Um, at the end, it did come loose, and she almost killed herself, but luckily, she's got mad balance. Anyway, that's at the end. Uh, stick around, it's pretty funny. I feel, I mean, I, like, I'm not trying to exploit this young lady at all. Like, it really was just more amusement than anything else, so... I hope I don't offend anybody. Anywho, here we are. We've made it to City Park. Um, we are on... I don't even know what this thing is called. It's like some loop. It's a bike path, walking path loop. It basically goes around what City Park calls its festival grounds. Um, it's where they have their festivals. Voodoo Festival is held here. If you've seen my videos, you've seen my Voodoo Fest videos. The drone videos. Yeah, dance it off, girl. Oh, left or right, left or right. That's what she's asking me, I think. She don't know. I don't know. Oh, listen to that smooth-ass jazz. Look at it go. No wobbling. She uh she told me she's well she was pissed at me. She was yelling at me because apparently I didn't tell her that, you know, it helps if you rotate your front foot, you know, a few degrees towards the front to kind of give you a little steering stability. Well, when she did that, she found a better foot stance. Uh, and it made for a much more comfortable ride. So that's that's how Joe's is is championing championing through this, pushing through like a freaking champion. Like we're probably three miles in right now, I'd say. Uh, if I had to guess, two and a half, three miles. I mean, that's for a beginner. That'll mess your feet up, man. You'll be tired feet. Anyway, we're here at the charging station. And so this is two videos chopped up. So sometimes I'll be wearing long pants and sometimes I'll be wearing shorts because it was two different days. Um, and we went to the charging station both days, but the stripper was only there the second day. I think. I don't know, we'll find out, keep watching. I forgot. The chair, and that's a great idea. Just a big old prison for the kids. Yeah, see, this is the first day we charged in a different place. So we charged in the front because on the side, somebody was uh, playing one of those boom boxes, supplying us with dope ass music. So we're all charged up and ready to hit the park. Oh, watch the, watch the brick wall there, Todd, with your super uh, expensive-ass camera. Dumbass. Bitcoin's at 59. Woo-woo! All right, leaving the family reunion pavilion. Back on the path, cruising. The sun is slowly setting in the background looking freaking phenomenal laying down some smooth vibes I have no idea who this artist is but shout out shout out to epidemic sound that's where I get all my uh, royalty free or what is it creative commons music from it's paid subscription but uh hey epidemic sounds Holler back if y'all want to uh, sponsor me. You know what I'm saying?
All right, so we crossed over into the, um, I don't know, I guess you'd say like the commercial part of the park. This is where they, you can rent like boats for the lake and rent bikes and stuff like that. So more kids, more families. Like off to the left and the right, I believe. Off to the right is Big Lake. Off to the left is just like huge fields. Um, so there's just lots of people just lounging, lots of couples just having little picnics, enjoying the weather, kicking it. As you know. Also started wearing gloves. Because I think I broke my wrist. Not that the gloves are going to do anything, but you know. These are the rentals, those little buggies, the carriages, dope, I've never done them, but you know, family fun bros. What's up peeps? Why does it keep jumping like that? I need to check that shit out. Can't be having that. Didn't get stopped at all. All those people, nobody had, I don't think anybody had any, uh, had many questions. I get stopped all the time. Kids fucking love the thing. Dudes love the thing. Chicks, not so much. They're coming around. Dogs. It's, it's a love-hate relationship with dogs. Dogs either, like, love the thing, like, they, they want to chase it and have fun with it, or they think that it's... Uh, I, I don't know, like, their mortal enemy, and they want to fucking attack it. So I'm extra cautious around dogs, around the doggies. If anything, they're just super curious. They're like, what is that thing? Well, what are the noises? I don't get it. Why is Todd so tall all of a sudden? I just don't understand. All right, this song might have to go, bro. This is like some sleepy ass shit. This ain't no ride music. Oh, maybe if like we hug, it'll be like a synchronized. I don't know, man. Nope, piano. What is that? So that is, uh, that's Noma, New Orleans Museum of Art in the background. Um, really, really cool museum. Um, I don't really know of the price. We've been in a couple of times. Um, they have, they have festivals in there. I know we've been in, in there, inside there for Japan Fest. It was awesome. We've been through the museum, though, just in its, I guess, regular state. And it's, it's really beautiful. Um, and I think it was free. Uh, I could be wrong. But anyway. If you're in town, check it out. So this path, I believe, takes us around Big Lake. Uh, there's just a big lake in the middle of the park that they call Big Lake. It's got like a couple of fountains, I believe. Big dock. Oh, we're, we're on a... Uh, we're, over we're over Big Lake right now. See, like riding over this thing at first was super, super sketchy for me. Jode's handling it like a champion. Look at that girl. This song needs to end. <sighs> Fuck. I mean, I guess it has its moments, but overall, just like real too chill, bro. Too chill for a one-wheel video, at least. IMO. Tink, tink.
Oh, damn, Rocky in the house. Homeboy throwing combinations. Look at that, it's beautiful. A city park at dusk. That is dusk, right? Dusk is when the sun goes down, huh? I'm sure that's what it is. From dusk till dawn, and I'm pretty sure dawn is the morning. That's a pretty cool movie. You'll never catch me talking about movies. What are you doing? Swinging a hammer, Jodes? Oh, I think we're coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See that pavilion? That pavilion holds a, 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 a near and dear spot in Jodes and I's hearts. Uh, years ago, during Voodoo Festival, we didn't have tickets. I didn't have tickets. Um, it was a year Pearl Jam played, Macklemore, like that's just a few notable artists that I was curious, interested in seeing. <clears throat> anyway, at this pavilion that you see, it was not, it was not in the form that it is now. It was, uh, dark and dingy and un, it was not, it was off the beaten path. Um, so I just happened to ride my bike over there and I stopped at this p particular pavilion and there was, a. Uh, it was two homeless dudes just chilling there and I was like okay so I just stayed chilled with them and uh, like basically listened to the concert you know because we were basically right outside like there was a, a perimeter fence like right there that basically like went out into the big lake so the only way was you had to like get into the water to go around the, the fucking gate I'm not I wasn't doing that shit Anyway, so we're just out there, me and two homeless people, uh, in the dark, just fucking having a good time, jamming out to the fucking concert. And I called Jodes up, and I was like, babe, I found this spot, it's like super romantic. I was like, it's not really romantic right now, because I'm chilling with two homeless people, but, like, if we come any other night, it'd just be us two, and we could totally, like, just have it, because it's overlooking the water, and, I don't know, man, like, whatever, it's cool. Um, so, I, somehow, I don't know how... Um, I convinced her to come out. She didn't ride a bike. She drove, but she came and met me. And uh, me and Jodes kicked it with the two homeless people, who I had assured her was completely safe. That shows you how fucking smart I am. It, it was completely safe. Nothing, nothing shitty happened. Um, anyway, so we we had a nice little night listening to uh, I think it was Pearl Jam, maybe closing closing that night. Who's one of my all-time favorites? Saw him twice live when I was a teenager in the '90s. Ooh, Lord of Mercy, changed my life. Anyway, that's my uh, pavilion story. Just focus on, focus on what's ahead of you. Woo! <laughs> We're making our way back. I think we're making our way back home. We're on, uh, yeah, so we're on the path that, go, we're on the, the festival grounds path. Which is basically our way out, so we make our way halfway around the festival grounds path. And then we exit the park by going, actually not really, we, then we go under the interstate, we go under an underpass. Uh, under the interstate and then basically wrap back around so we'll go the same way we came back past uh, Pan Am Stadium and then back onto the Wisner Trail and uh, all the way home basically listen to this jam this is like some comic book superhero shiz digging it Should be going faster though. What are you looking at, bro? There she goes. This is the tennis pavilion. It's fairly new. City Park Tennis Pavilion. 
Actually, we're not we're not headed back. I don't. I, we're still trying to get into the park. I think. I don't know what's going. on. Oh, this is another. This is another day. Look, I'm wearing shorts. Okay. This is day. This is day two. Of the saga. The saga continues. There we go. There we go. Popo, City Park Popo. You'll never catch me, Papa. Oh damn! When the beat drops. Oh, okay, we hitting the trails now. Joe, look at this girl. So now Joe's is, Joe's is a trail rider on a pint, gaining on me. Arms extended, full balance mode, like a goddamn professional. <clears throat> look at those beautiful ass oak trees. Love them. So apparently they're doing construction to the bike path off to the right as you can see the construction mm, barrier. To the left is, I think it's Marconi? Yeah, Marconi Avenue. Look, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the, uh, got a little captain in your pose. I, I didn't even know that I rode like that until I saw this video. Look at, see how my knees all kicked up and my back legs straight? I look ridiculous. I have since amended my, uh, my, my riding stance. Thank you very much. Got a little captain in you. I didn't, by the way, at the time. Chemically. It's a cool little jam here. Whoa, whoa, nice. Look at that. Okay, alright, so now... Look at that, yeah, a little fist bump, a little congratulations. That was dope, man. She made it off, so she made the transition from off trail to on trail, through the whole trail, uh, which was, you know, not the easiest fucking path. And then off the trail, back onto the red, the reggie ass concrete, and then boom! Look, she's taken off. I have to let her wear my speed racer T-shirt. I can't even catch her. She's spitting dust all up in my face. Take it easy on me. Um, yeah, so I, uh, obviously, as you can see, I have a robotic leg, um, that back leg there, um, it's pixelated because it's, uh, just a figment, figment of our imaginations right now, it's, it's not a prosthetic, it's just a bionic, which means that it's the dopest fucking leg you've ever seen. Not the dopest stance, though. Will Bitcoin break 60 today? I fucking hope so. Be a lot cooler if you did. That fucking truck barely caught her. That truck is going 200. That Mustang is going 212 miles an hour. Flying. A little more cloudy than uh, than the previous day, but beautiful nonetheless. Nice and sunny. Well, you know, the sun showed its face when the clouds let it.
I think we both ended up putting hoodies on, so I take that back. All right, yeah, so we went a different route. We went the back way this time. Okay, all right, now I remember. So now we're going under the underpass. We're headed into the, uh, headed to the festival grounds bike path for a, little, for a quick charge. And uh, is this where we encounter the stripper? No, that's at the end of the trip. Anyway, I'm just really impressed by Jode's riding abilities. Look, she's already identified the... She, she See, there was a huge bump back there that we identified that yesterday, and she's wised up already. I mean, come on. She's like a... Uh, it's like a gazelle. She just has the natural instincts. All right, we're on the path. Or on the tr yeah path. Hey, you see that red thermos? That uh, that thing is so dope. You guys, if y'all want to stay hydrated, that thing is a monster. It's forty ounces. Um, it's got like, it locks. It's it's spill proof. Y'all need to sponsor me, uh, thermos. Um. It's super durable. You can like throw it at people. You can use it as a weapon. Beat the shit out of people with it. Um, probably, you could really mess somebody up uh, with one of those things. But also, get your hydration on at the same time. Like, a good beating will sometimes make you very thirsty. You gotta, um, you gotta hydrate up after that, after the beatdown. None of that. None of that. Look at that sky. That's kind of cool looking. Look at that shit. I don't know what that glitch is. Me no likey. So this must have been... This is Saturday. Okay. So the day before Easter. So it was... I'm the king of the world! Look at me in my captain pose. I look so ridiculous. I look so stupid. But I did get a new uh, tail plate, I guess you would call it. I don't even know, man. It's called the platypus. It's, uh, it's concave. So my foot's be liking it a lot. My back foot. You're looking at there it is that back foot. Yeah, listen to this fucking jam. Man, you gotta sit back, roll one up, and smoke a fatty to this jam. Oh yeah. All right, so here we are at the family reunion pavilion, day two. Um, Jodes is gonna get a quick charge in. Um, as you can see, the stripper is not there, but where, well, as you can see, like, you would know where the fuck she would be. Anyway, she's not there yet, so stay tuned, kids. really love City Park. I love the... F oh, there she is! You see her? You see her in the background? Yeah, there she is. Check it out. There she is! She's twirling. Twirling like a... I don't know. Oh, she's doing an upside-down move. Look, Joe just looking at her. I didn't look at her the whole time. I was like, look, I know her... Oh, oh! Upside down, gripping it with her legs and toes, I think. She's tall. Jody said she had <clears throat> huge feet. She's trying the upside down maneuver again. And we have liftoff. 
Nice. Oh, that's all we get for now. That was a teaser for you guys. Okay, so it looks like we're headed back out because that looks like that is St. Bernese. So... Uh, I'm confused. Who cares? Just watch. Okay, so it looks like this is just the beginning of the second ride. Apparently, I chopped this thing up all kinds of fucked up. Um, and so it's basically not in chronological order, but I, I, don't, I don't really think that matters. We're all about the aesthetics. We're just, we're trying to watch the motion. Feel the groove, jam to the music. Feel the vibe, feel the energy. Robert E. Lee. I don't know what they call that path. Um, to the left is the U.S. Agricultural Center, I believe. I'm not really sure what the hell it is. It's a government building and it's all fenced off with security clearances to get in and that type of thing. Um, I've never been inside the perimeter. I've flown my drone over it a couple of times, and between me and you, I think they're growing some wacky tobacco back there. But uh, you know, check out my uh, check out my YouTube channel, uh, Todd Crane Nola, for all my drone videos. I've got a ton of them up there. Basically, they're all highlighting different areas of the city. Um, you know, some big, some small. It's all pretty, it's all pretty cool. You know, I'll put it to music and, and try to do a little editing to it. Um, which is fun and challenging and time consuming. But I think it's cool to learn. Whoa, Jodes. Bounce, 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 bounce. Um, if you get a chance, I don't know how often I show myself on this video, but if you peep out the shirt I'm wearing, it's, uh, it's Tracy Porter picking off Peyton Manning in Super Bowl, what was it, 40? XLIV 39? Uh, to seal the game. It was pretty much one of the best moments in my life. So I captured it on a t-shirt. For you to wear. If you so choose. Oh damn, we got lyrics in the house. I guess I can shut up for a minute. I'm hungry. See, there's my knee pads. Safety first, kids. I think of. I think I adjusted my stance for this ride so I don't look all goofy and Captain Morgan out. No pirate in me. Basically, just tuck the back leg in a little closer to the fender. Whoa, language there. Yeah, see, Jodes is feeling that hip muscle that be. That's one of those little muscles that the one wheel really digs at. It's just one of those weird little small muscles that probably doesn't get used very often in life, everyday life. 
a couple of the uh, of the muscle groups that the one wheel I think I don't know if targets is the right word but utilizes at least in my experience and I'm sure it's different for everybody but certainly the core but also like big time quads your booty your glutes um, a lot of your like your hip flexors and like all that stuff like all around your waistline because there's a lot of uh, balance requirements that kind of force you to keep those muscles on point at all times um, it's always best to keep this is what I say I mean I hope I'm not giving bad advice I say keep your ankles and your knees loose at all times right uh, my uh, the reason behind that is that you know when you hit some some rough terrain that board it's gonna try to stay underneath you so as long as you have a firm foothold on those on the board which is on the sensors and you allow your I guess ankles and knees to kind of be more fluid um, it, it kind of acts not not so much as like shock absorbers but more like balancers like it just it allows the board to kind of go back and forth and your feet go back and forth with the board but the looseness of your of your lower appendages allow you to not kill yourself in my opinion or in my experience do not look up my pants people God, this is a long video. Alright, so we are now on Marconi, headed to City Park. So, okay, this is like I said, this is the first half of the second ride. We already saw the second half, or part of the second half of the second ride. So, eh, just forget about the timetable here. We're just marveling at the uh, at the rookie rider's talent level. That's what this is all about. And, you know, girl power and that stuff. Girl power. A lot of people fish. Um, along the bayou, I would imagine that they uh, have success. I'm not much of a fisher person. Not that I don't like it. I just don't. I don't own a, a rod and a reel. Uh, don't have a boat. Don't get asked to go fishing often. Uh, you know those type of circumstances all right we got an up-tempo track coming in here it sounds like it's some uh... yeah listen to that oh and nod your head to that shit that's more superhero music music all right so this is what Jody almost kills me I think she decides to stop at an intersection as opposed to, well, so you see the stop sign? We have the right of way. I'm trying to tell, and she almost yanks me, murders me off the board. There's somebody coming from the back on a bike. I almost died just then. I'm not happy. After the domestic violence, we get back on our boards. As you can see, we're not speaking to each other. After her attempt at murder. Still doing a great job though, riding. I think, I think she's trying to take me out because she wants the XR. Look, giving me the cold shoulder. Like, how dare you yell at me for just trying to kill you? Hides in the doghouse. Maybe it'll have a happy ending with this superhero music. It's got to have some kind of good outcome.
Will Todd play his cards right? Or will he stay in the backyard? Only time will tell. Yeah, see, if you, uh, if you notice, if you pause it and zoom in to my helmet, you'll notice that there's many, many scratches and scrapes. That's from when I bounced my head off of the concrete. Luckily, my head was inside the helmet. And I know some of y'all are thinking, well, bro, you're a fucking idiot. Like, once you use the helmet, like, once the helmet has contact once, it's useless. Um, a couple of people have told me that, and I don't know if that's true or not, but, uh, the second and third and fourth time that this, uh, the helmet saved my skull was just as effective as the first, so. I'ma ride it until the fucking wheels fall off of the helmet. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so it looks like we made up. We're friends now again. <clears throat> she no longer hates me. We're having conversation. It looks pretty civil. I'm sure she's plotting in her head. I'm maintaining a, a healthy level of distance between her. Okay, we're crossing over Harrison. Yeah, so we just crossed. Look, she, she very proud of her right now. That was a heavy traffic area. We, she took a, a, a big turn. Now we're onto some like fairly fucked up terrain. You know, not even batting an eyelash. Look at that. Government vehicles all around. She ain't scared. It's the anger. The anger is her fuel. There you go. Let's see the dismount. Oh, nice! That's pretty good. Oh, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah, hold my camera, biatch. Nice watch. Slap. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I am a grown-ass child. Check out the shirt. Ooh! Um, speaking of the shirt... Since this is, you know, an international platform, I'd just like to shout out who dat real quick. Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? If you know, you know. Who dat? Alright, where the hell are we headed? Looks like that's rugby or soccer fields to the left. I think Scout Island is to the right. I th think... Okay. Oh yeah, this is where I try to take Jodes to like a nice romantic spot that I found on a previous ride, but coming to discover it was an ill-advised idea. We like... We ended up on some terrain that was pretty fucking gnarly and we uh, basically turned back around. As you'll see, <clears throat> it was it was super far away and it like it was overgrown and just all jacked up. We couldn't have made it to my destination even if we wanted to. And also, as we were walking or as we were riding by at riding in, there was some girl on her phone basically saying like, "Yeah, they were back there and they were yelling at me and they were calling me bad names." So, like, I don't know if there's, like, a Satanist cult back there, like, fucking with people. So, I mean, I was already a little sketched. 
Um, so, uh, you know, when Jodes was like, let's turn the fuck around, I was like, okie dokie. Whoa, nice, look at that. Oh, Jodes with the fucking, with the dismount. Alright, what is this, some rock and roll in the house? Yeah. Oh, no, it's dubstep rock and roll. All right, so we said fuck that. We're headed back to the uh, to the concrete, to the asphalt. To the hard flow. Look at the weather. Mm. Look at Jodes with that balance. She almost ate it there. I wanna love ya. I wanna love ya. See, nice rock and roll country ditty. And then the dub. Well, that was pretty horrible. It probably sounded to you like I had a stroke. I probably did. Where's the sun? Okay, so I think we're just headed towards the, uh... Huh? No, I think this is kind of like concludes the... The rideage part of the video. We, we may be headed into the bonus extended cut, uh, area of the video. Y'all know what it is, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. That would be, let's not get premature. Okay. Got some up-tempo coming, up, coming in. Like some fucking trance or house, I don't know. Oh, some do uh, dub. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the beginning part to where we connected to the off-road trail earlier in the video. Look at that shirt, look at that shirt. Mm. Mm. Sop it up with a biscuit. Look at this, watch, she makes it all the way on the fucking like, all right, so this is not easy, folks. Boom! Boom! Okay, so now this is the extended bonus cut. Stripper edition. Just sit back and enjoy. This girl's got talent. She's going places. This is the middle of City Park, Pavia, mind you. Which is awesome. So my whole strategy while this whole thing is going on, here I go talking with my fucking hands again like a r crazy person. My whole plan was just to plop the camera in front of me and, and me and Jody and so she would not think that the camera was focusing on her. I did not want her to know that I was looking at her. Because you can see, I'm not looking at her. Not that, I mean, you know, like, it'd be rude if I was just sitting there staring at her right now, right? I couldn't be doing that. That would be rude as fuck. But, I can come back, review the footage. Boom. And then you get to see, it's a, and then I get to share it with you all. Probably gonna make this girl rich and famous. Watch. Look, even it even came in with the right music. It's that trap music, bro. Dude, she's got mad commitment. 
I don't know why they don't. You would think that they would powder the pole. Like, like, uh, powder it like gym, like gymnasts do. Like, you know how gymnasts powder the O-rings and the horse and the, uh, the parallel bars and all that? Why don't, why don't, uh, why don't these girls do that? There's gotta be a reason. Look, she's, she's talented as fuck. She's probably a ballerina. That's classical training right there. I can't, there's, I could never do that. I'm not built like that. I don't know what about that makes her strong, but I certainly cannot do that. Look at his shirt. Oh my god. Look at Peyton Manning sitting his ass down in the back. Oh, it's beautiful. I was going crazy. Bat shit crazy. Look, don't fall. Don't fall. Ugh. It's okay. Ooh, nice. She saved it. With the, uh, with, with a roll. She did a, I think it was a Tootsie roll. Just mad talent. Like a climbing it like a good at it. Anyway, so we were just here charging our one wheel. Jody's charging a one wheel. Um and we were just lounging, taking in the sights, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. Look at this girl, she's so good. God. Just mad talent, bro. Respect. Put some respect on it. I think I'm in the mood for a swisher. That's a sicker. Alright, so you get the idea. She's basically just practicing. But look, don't leave yet. Stick around because even though the song's about to end, I'll keep on talking. But, uh, so she, like, I'm not saying that... Just stick around. Uh, something awesome happens at the end. A moment of silence for drama. Okay, alright. So, here we go. We are going for the grand finale here with a nice twirl there. Back facing twirl. We're going to go up with the legs and I think we're going to have some disruption in the pole. Oh my gosh, it fell down and luckily she had the wherewithal to pull that one out she got her feet underneath underneath her and ran it out very impressive very 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 impressive i think she's dead thanks for watching guys thanks for listening guys y'all rock